Hello guys, I'm Alex and today I want to show you an easy way to find your own settings for your own laser to engrave a picture on stainless steel. I choose to download this image from uh, laserpicture.com because it's a high resolution and 508 dpi. After you download the original one or use your own picture, we go to Liber. In Liber, we need to do first of all some test. Some of you, you know what I mean. Some of you don't know what I mean. Then on Laser Tool, you have a material test. How I do it here? Easy way is I do a speed on one side and frequency on another side. Speed between 100 and 1000 and the frequency between 10 and 100. If you have any Rikus fiber laser and it's maximum 60, put here maximum 60. Then we go after we choose speed and frequency, we go to edit material settings. Uh, here we need to put only the power, the speed and the frequency. We don't need to put nothing. We need to choose bidirectional and cross hatch and the line interval of 0 0.02. Scan angle, it can be 0, 45, 90, it's not so important. After this one, we go to edit text settings, and here we choose some speed, power, and frequency to have the writing of speed and frequency text. We can press a preview, and we can see how it looks nice test yeah with the power of 30 speed on one side and uh, frequency on another side i will show you now a video how is this test i make it on fast video you can see on the right side of the screen then this one is the first text uh, test i done on the piece of metal you can see i have more tests on that metal sheet but this one i do it purpose for um, this video i use 175 lens for this uh, for this test after i finish the test you can see here a picture which one i will show you now uh, this is my first test after this one i choose to make another one on next to next to this one on the right side i, I choose to make another one how i do this I go again on this um, edit material test and I, I change only the, uh, the power of the, of the test, I choose 35%. Then the speed frequency will be the same, if you do a preview will be the same speed and frequency but with 35%. Every test I do, I do in focus, yeah, you frame it, you press start you do a second test how you can see here on the right side of the screen on that uh, this test i find out uh, the white layer uh, for me it was like 1500 speed because i forgot to tell you guys uh, the second one test i do by going a little more higher with the speed uh, which one is uh, this picture I choose the, the speed of uh, 500 between 500 and 1500 I forget to tell you before then this one it was like 500 to 1500 but you see here how it's looking like 611 722 you can make more line more speed counters and you will be five six seven eight nine hundred and so on yeah then i do this kind of test on the right side here how you see it and <coughs> because i have a good white layer uh, on uh, 1500 speed with uh, 40 frequency and 35 uh, power next step is i close this one I make uh, a square 
I choose to be around 70 millimeters square because uh, it's big enough to inside to have a space to make another uh, test how you can see on uh, on my cut and layers here this is the the speed 1500 speed 35 percent power 40 frequency p directional of course and cross hatch and the same line interval when i do this uh, white square it will looks like that you can see now on the right side then i do a white layer big square and in the middle of this one i will do another test another test is mean to go again on the laser tool material test of course and uh, choose the same uh, the speed and uh, the frequency only i choose the uh, same i go back to 100 to 1000 the only difference is on uh, this test uh, what i done it i will put you the picture here on the right side because all I will start from 25% of the power and the difference is here the line interval I choose to do it on 0 0.0500 why? because the picture is 500 line per inch or dpi and all this small square you see it on the white layer it's 508 dpi or line per inch yeah because if you do it on 0 0.02 it will be too many and now we try to find a black or something similar to black to engrave on white and i choose 0 0.05 i do this test yeah it will be the same like a normal test but the lower we start from lower power with the line interval of 0 0.05 and how you see it on the video earlier on on this video yeah i do a white layer first without moving the metal sheets i do a test after this test i uh, choose one of the the color which one i was thinking it's good enough black or gray or uh, brown or whatever you have there on the test how you can see on the video it's showing you uh, different color maybe a blue maybe a brown or a gold or yellow yeah i choose to do uh, another uh, another test this square I will uh, delete it I will uh, import uh, the picture which one I uh, I have it already downloaded yeah it's uh, 500 dpi I uh, make it a little smaller keep press control and resize it yeah. uh, I will do a high of 70 now what I do I make a copy of uh, this picture by making a, a square same size for our uh, white layer yeah will be here 70 and the white is 43 830 it will be 43832 and it will be the same size with the uh, picture now what we need to do to align this one too one on the top of each other center of working space and we need to put the fill on the top the image down and the fill will be the same uh, speed power and frequency for a white layer 
and uh, for the picture I use uh, uh, 300 uh, speed 25% power uh, on this picture which one you see it on the right side I choose uh, the frequency of uh, 80 because I believe that one is good for me line interval 0 0.05 exactly the same uh, interval line you use for this test and because this is not a process image from uh, image R uh, you need to choose uh, image mode from Lightburn which one I choose is Jarvis for this test if it was a picture from image R you need to put the DPI and after uh, pass through on but because I have a image bring it straight away in Lightburn, I use uh, image mode from Lightburn and choose Jarvis. Now uh, you select both of them and uh, of course frame it, focus everything and press start. And will be uh, this video on the right side you can see now I do a white layer bidirectional cross hatch with the line interval of 0 0.02 and now engraving the picture with these settings for this test I do these settings even you see on the picture there I have it uh, uh, writing the speed uh, power frequency and uh, DPI Jarvis with 175 lens then if you are not happy with uh, the result of this picture you need to choose uh, from your test maybe you need to do more tests like like this first of all you do the white layer and after uh, in that white layer you do another test starting from 25% or 20% and go up to how much you need it 30 35 40 but any test you do you need to do first uh, a white layer because uh, you need to give it like on a normal picture the white layer and in this white layer to do the test and when you have a good quality picture you will make a same measure of the picture for a white layer and you choose from your test from your laser because every laser is not the same each every laser is different or a different lens uh, will be a different settings you will choose to do a cross hatch bidirectional with what line interval you choose to do and to give you a wide layer and after on the top of that one you will put the picture and you will engrave the picture if your picture is not looking okay and you are not happy with the picture you can uh, change uh, try to change the frequency or speed or power doing test after test you will find out the easy way uh, how you do how to do a picture on uh, on metal the easy way how I do it imagine this is a piece of metal I choose to um, to do the picture starting from a corner and I try with different speed power and frequency I'm not happy with this one I will uh, make another one next to each other and so on with different uh, power and settings to find out which one is the best result I hope uh, you'll understand this kind of uh, test I do and it will be easier for you to find your own settings for your own laser doesn't matter if it's a 30 watts 50 watts 60 watts and 100 watts all the laser you have it you need to do this kind of test to find out the the settings mine is a 50 watt GPT and uh, for this uh, test I use uh, 175 lens stay safe and hope uh, i was uh, helping you and explain you enough to understand this kind of uh, test see you guys and take care